Welcome everybody. This is Greg with Laser Bear Industries here to demonstrate installing the updated firmware for the RTD 2650 or 2665T uh, chip based mini monitors. So we will have a link to the actual flashing tool. It's just a little device that plugs in via HDMI into the monitor. Uh, and then using this uh, software application, you can install the firmware update. So the download that you will get from us will have this uh, folder with all of the application parts. First thing you're gonna do is open up the RTD tool. Once that's open, you will want to start off by going into communication options. You're going to install the driver. Once it's installed, you're gonna detect. Uh, mine's already been detected and it's already been installed, but uh, once it's actually detected, you will be able to see this USB um, connection icon at the bottom. So you know that you're connected to a monitor. To double check that you're connected to the monitor, all you gotta do is hit reset and it will reboot the monitor for you so that you can see whether or not you're connected to it. So first thing we're gonna wanna do is come up to this flash option. And in flash, we're gonna go make sure that our bank set is set to eight. And then we're gonna read the flash. You're gonna do read total. It takes just a few moments for it to read the entire flash from the monitor. What this is gonna do is enable you to have a backup of the flash in the event that something happens and you need to restore what was on the monitor. And give it just a hair more time. And once it's done, we will save that flash so that we can reflash it in the event we need it. So you're just gonna hit save total. I'm going to put it into the same folder that I pulled this out of. I'm just gonna call it backup. Save. And you're done, you have a backup. You can compare what it read to the backup. Zero differences also compare this should have already had the same firmware file no this has a different firmware all right so now we're going to come up to this isp here we're going to open up the firmware folder that was in the download we have lbi logo blue um, FS is for free sync, AR is for aspect ratio, um, and then the size of the resolution of the screen. So we're gonna open that. And you see it fills six of the bank, or seven of the banks, zero through six. And we're just gonna hit flash. It will probably tell you this flash mismatch use default values. It's just one of the things that just shows up um, when you're doing this install. Then we will just let it do its update. Doesn't take super long. Once it's done, the monitor itself will reboot and the firmware will be flashed to it. My monitor just rebooted, Laser Bear Industries logo pops up. And so that's it. Monitor now has the most current firmware. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let us know. Please note that installing the firmware onto your board is an advanced option and we are not responsible for any damage that may come from doing so doing this. 
Now, the ISP feature of these is pretty stable and shouldn't do any type of like bricking or anything. All you have to do is reflash it until it sticks or reflash your backup image until it sticks. But uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.